Hello everyone, this is Joseph. Thank you for viewing all my videos. Today, I'm going to talk about Math PSRE 2021 Paper 2, questions number 9 and 10. This is the exam smart strategy that I am always adopting. These are the two questions taken from PSRE 2021 Paper 2. Let's take a look at the first question, question 9. The bar graph shows the number of files sold from January to March. Okay, now one problem over here is that we are totally unsure what is along the vertical axis. All right, now it's an unfamiliar bar graph. Normally, we have values along the y-axis, but this time, we don't get to see. So, it's not a big issue. What we need to do is we go all the way back to primary one, when we know that we can represent each little, little marking as one unit. So, the first marking here is five units, followed by 10 units, 15 units, and finally 20 units. So it's actually skip counting by 5 because it's employing the 5 times table, multiples of 5. So when it's being skip counted by 5, we have already known the number of files sold in January, represented by units. So in January, twin, uh, sorry, 12 units of files sold in January, 9 units of files sold in February, and 16 units of files sold in March. Okay, let's do a little bit more. The total number of sold, uh, files sold from January to March. When we add all this together, we will know the total is 37 units. Let's stand by this total. Okay, let's move on to part A. Now, what was the percentage decrease in the number of files sold from January to February. Okay, I'm going to do part A up here. Now, January, you have 12 units sold. February, 9 units only. So there's a reduction of 3 units. So let's make these 3 units into a percentage. So the decrease out of the original times 100%, that gives us 1 quarter. Oh, sorry, not 1 quarter. That gives us, the one quarter is a fraction, of course. So that gives us 25%. Alright, and that means A is completed. A is easily done. Okay, part B. Now, we are told that there, are one, there were 144 more found sold in March than in January. So let's find the difference between them. In March, 16 units of files sold. In January, 12 units of files sold. So the difference is 4 units and 4 units has to be 144. So let's find what is 1 unit. 144 divided by 4 and that gives us the number 36. So 1 unit is equal to 36 files. Part 1. B part 1. How many files were sold? How many files were sold in March? So in March, we know that 16 files were sold. So 16 files means 16 units, 16 units of files were sold. That means 16 units is equal to 16 times 36. So 16 multiplied by 36 is 576. B part 1 is found. Okay? All right, so this is B part one. Let's move on to B part two. Okay, B part two is a little bit different. We are given the average of files sold from January to May. Oh, take note. Okay, so I'm gonna do it here. Average from January to May. The average is 435. Okay, remember we are not supposed to work with average, we work with total. 
So January to May is actually five months. Right? So we let's find the total just times five, and that gives us two thousand one hundred and seventy-five. So the total number of files sold from January to May, a total of five months, the total is two thousand one hundred and seventy-five. Okay, the question is asking us to find the average number of files sold in April and May, if you read this last line. So April and May is the last two months not shown in the bar graph. All right, the last two months not shown in the bar graph. And we know that the bar graph told us the first three months, the total is 37 units. Okay, so let's find out what is 37 units. So the total of files sold in the first three months is 37 multiplied by 36. Okay, remember, this is one unit. All right, so 37 multiplied by 36. Okay, all right. So when you take 37 multiplied by 36, we should be able to do the question quite easily. Okay, so using our calculator, you get 1,000. Okay, pardon me. 1,332 files sold in January, from January to March. And from January to May, we have 2,175. So we have this value. We have this value. Okay, let's subtract them to get the total sold in the last two months. Okay, so that would be 2,175 minus 1,332. Okay, All right. So again, using our calculator, we have 800. And 43. So that will help us to already answer B part 2. The average of the last two months will be 843 divided by 2 and gives us 421.5. You can also give 421 and a half. Okay, right. This 421.5 files will frighten quite a few of us because normally a file has to be a whole number but in reality in the real world right companies whether it's in a car company in a stationary company in whatever form even the population size right when they do average we do get decimal so there's nothing frightening about it so part b b part two the answer is 421.5 or 421 and a half. Okay, number nine is done. The next question in this video is question 10 and it's involving ratio. Okay, let's read the question carefully. The first set of ratio involves Ellen and the total, okay, Ellen colon, and the total of Ben plus Chandra. So it's one, two, three. The second set of ratio is involving Ben and the total of Ellen and Chandra. One, two, five. Now, if you read, if you compare the two uh, ratios, right, and we can straight away know that it is involving the three boys, just the three boys. So, I can put a total of the three boys here. Introduce another component to the ratio, total of the three boys. All right, because the gift, the cost of the gift shared by three boys. So if I take Ellen's share plus Ben's plus Chandra, this is four. This is six. Strangely, the total must be the same, right? Because it is repeated identity concept 
repeated identity concept. Since the total for the two ratios must be the same, I'll get a common 12 here. So it's a P4 concept of common multiple. So I times 2 here, I times 3 here. So let me write down the equivalent ratio. So this is 10, this is my 2, this is my 9, and this is my 3. Right, from here, I can conclude, I can do a quick summary. Ellen paid 3 units, Ben paid 2 units, Chandra, we will find out about Chandra very soon because the total of the three boys is 12. So for Chandra's case, it's very simple. 12 minus 3 minus 2, that gives us 7. So Chandra contributed 7 units. Okay, now let's go to here. This $80 is comparing Chandra's and Ben's share. So let's write down here. Chandra contributed 7 units, Ben contributed 2 units, so the difference is 5 units, and 5 units definitely must be $80. So 1 unit will be 80 divided by 5, and 80 divided by 5 is 16, if you're using a calculator. Okay, we are reaching the end of the question. How much did the entire gift cost? The entire, the entire gift is here. So 12 units must be 12 times $16, and we get 192. Question 10 is done using repeated identity. Okay, thank you for watching part 3, question 9 and 10. All right, the next video that you, you will get to know is on question 11 all the way to question 17. All right. Okay, I hope you find today's session uh, easily understood. Remember to like my video, share my video, and most importantly, subscribe okay, to my channel. Then you get to hear, get to watch, get to share all the various ways of solving mathematics, PSLE mathematics. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Till then, goodbye and this is Joseph.